working. Oh. Hey there, everybody. It's Ryan. Beautiful sunny day downtown Halifax and Scooter. Found a freaking plug on the wharf. Definitely is awesome. Chill here for an hour or two down at the waterfront in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And plug it in for an hour or two. Charge it right back up. Came out from Clayton Park and it just only took a quarter of a tank to get here, which is pretty good. It's like seven kilometers or so. I'm learning how to feather this thing and use it in the right areas. No need to use high speed when you're going down hills. At all, really, unless you're around heavy traffic. And that can really help your guys' range, everybody. Oh, wicked, look. Just noticing. Was that a couple tugboats tugging in a military ship? Biggest military base is right here in Halifax for uh, Canada. And uh, for any of you out there around the world who are interested, watch it for a second, I guess. Not sure if all of you have this kind of thing in your worlds, in this world. Yeah, over on that side, there's a couple bridges you can get over there. It's a different city. It's called Dartmouth. Dartmouth. This side is Halifax. To each their own. Two different worlds within the same city in a city. As you can see over there, too, all kinds. Many different ships, cruisers, lots of cruisers, cruise ships around here, but obviously not this past year or so. Oh, where'd the sun go, man? Yeah, as you can see, this whole province in Nova Scotia is 100%, well, maybe 99%, because that little clip onto New Brunswick, and then underneath is New York and Boston, New Jersey and all that, but surrounded by oceans and beaches in this province. Oh, we got a little ferry going across here. This is something I'm pretty used to, but I'm doing this to kind of show whoever watches this video that doesn't really get to experience these kind of things on my little scooter adventure. There's a lot of construction going on down here. They're completely reamping the whole entire waterfront. It's crazy. All the old bars and pubs that we used to know back in the day are being torn down to be put into freaking apartment buildings. As you can see, here's a little bit of the other spot. Oh, Canada. It's just a little part of the waterfront. Where'd my scooter go? Oh. Plug it in down there. Hi Boy Max Pro Zip hoverboard scooter. Kugo ES2. All kinds of clones of them. Goes pretty good. I just had it going 40 kilometers an hour downhill. So. Turn off the cruise control and just let it coast downhill really quickly. And you save battery. It's no different than a vehicle. I've done it millions of times in all my old rides. I want to save 50 cents on gas, just uh, find a big hill on the highway somewhere and coast all the way down. It works. If you're going on a long four or five, even thousand mile trip, I save a couple few dollars doing that every single time. Oh, what's going on over here again? There goes the ferry. Three or four different directions of ferries. One goes that way, one goes further over, way, way, way down. It's just a lot of power plants and stuff and factories uh, way down there. Another one goes over there, and then another one goes way down over there. If you can see, there's a few more ferries. They don't take cars, just people. A couple hundred at a time. But people work over here, live over there, vice versa. A lot of people live way, way out of the city, obviously, because it's cheaper. And still drive into the city every day. It's pretty cool. I wonder if the scooter's charged up yet. I want to get take advantage of this nice day. 16, 17 degrees today here. Barely any wind. Usually we get a lot of wind because we're around the ocean, but not today which helps the scooter world. It's a growing world, the electric industry, especially with scooters now. Everybody should get in. I've had many different types of vehicles, trucks, cars, sports cars, you name it. And I am hooked in this world now. It 
Let's see how close we can get out there. Oh, look at that. For all of you in whatever country you're watching this from, all of everybody, hope you enjoy. I admire this kind of stuff. I grew up as a fisherman from the fisherman family on the water most of my life. This is therapy to me, but it is pretty normal. Some of you, it may not be. Some of you may never even get to experience this coastlines at all. All of you within the middle of Canada or in the middle of the states or anywhere in the middle anywhere in the world. <laughs> the battery is soon gonna die on the phone now for this video. It only has an allotted amount of time. Got three or four tugboats though. Just keeping her coasting along. That's the tugboat's job. The bumper boats. Anyway, you all, I'm gonna go check on my scooter and see if I can go for another ride. I hope you enjoyed that little part anyway. Much respect. Did it for y'all. And I, people working on another boat here. Theodore Tugboat. Not sure if any of you know who that is. Old kids cartoon way back in the bay. Way back in the day, he's really famous. Little tugboat. He's real, and he's based out of here, Halifax, Nova Scotia. One thing I'll give Nova Scotia, it's got a lot of history. A lot of people ended up here, a lot of things were created out of here. A lot of beaches. Other than that, I don't know. The people that are actually...